There may be times when you would like to save the same formatting that you find yourself applying to tables over and over again, so you may reuse them in the future. Or you may find yourself repeatedly adjusting color, fonts, borders, etc., and would love to save time by just clicking on your table once, and all your formatting is magically applied instantaneously. Perhaps you need it for just one other table. It only takes a second to quickly save your formatting as a table style, so you can just click to apply in another table. That's where the table styles come in. Now if you scroll down, you'll see a table in the middle of the first exercise file, and we're gonna click anywhere in the table. Then we're gonna go up to the design menu, and you'll see the table styles gallery. Click on the more button. It's the one with the little line and the arrow pointing down. And here's our table gallery. Now, if you go all the way down to the very bottom, you'll see different styles that are here. We're gonna find the one that says Colorful Grid Accent 6. And we've decided that this is the one that we wanna use as our base style. Now, you don't wanna apply it, not yet. What we're gonna do is just remember that name, Colorful Grid Accent 6. Then we're gonna go down to New Table Style and click on it. And we're gonna give our new style a name. California catalog, comma, C-A-T. And it says that the style is based on table normal. And it's always gonna be based on table normal here. So what we wanna do is we don't want it to be based on that because it's plain and you can see the preview down here at the bottom. We want it to be based on colorful grid accent six. So scroll up, find your colorful grid accent six and click. We wanna apply our own little changes to this. One of the things that we want to do is we want to apply to the heading style italics. We also want to apply a grid to the whole table. So first off, it says whole table up here, and we're going to change this here to two and one quarter point. And then we're going to apply with this little box over here, it looks like a tiny table. Click on the down arrow and choose all borders. And there you have it. Now, if you change your mind and you want to go change the point size, you can just go back to it and choose, let's say, one and a half points, and then apply it again. So click on the down arrow and all borders. There it goes. Now, sometimes when you're trying to refresh things in this box, it doesn't happen automatically, and you have to actually select that option one more time. So just be aware of that when you're working in this box. We're also going to apply italics. Now we don't want to apply italics to the whole table. So where it says apply formatting to, go and click on the down arrow and choose header row. And then click on I for italics. There you go. So those are our changes. And what we're going to do is one more thing down here at the bottom says only in this document. We're going to change that to new documents based on this template. So go ahead and click that little button and then click on OK. Now, Nothing happened. You can see that your table style is still very plain. So what we wanna do is go back up to the More button and click again, and you'll see your custom table style up here. Remember we named the alias cat sitting up here, and if you click on it, it applies it to the table. Let's open up exercise file number two, and you'll see a table that's very similar to the one that we were in. So go ahead and click on it, and we're gonna go to Design, and we're gonna click on the More button, and there's no cat here to apply it to. So why? What happens? When you create a style and add it to the normal template by selecting the option for new documents based on this template, only new documents or documents going forward based upon the normal template or whatever template the document you created this style was in that was open when you chose this option will include the new style. But all is not lost. There is a way to copy styles between documents and templates and we'll cover that in a later chapter. Now, open a new document. So click in your document once and do Control N on your keyboard and it will open a new document. And we're gonna insert a table. So go to Insert and go to Table and then just drag your mouse over whatever amount of boxes you want. It really doesn't matter how big this is. And when you let go, you have a new table. And now go to the More button and there's cat right up here at the top. If you hold your mouse over it, you'll see your tool tip underneath your custom tools for cat. And when you click, it applies it to the table. Now I'm gonna do a control Z to undo. And I'm gonna show you just one other way to apply the style. 
instead of having to go and open up the table gallery, you could do Control Shift S on your keyboard. And remember, our alias is cat, so type in C-A-T and press Enter, and there it is. You can create your own table styles in a document to save yourself from having to apply the same formatting over and over again in your documents. Using table styles also provides consistency throughout your documents in color, font, and other formatting attributes.